Hello and welcome to the GMAP training video series. My name is Erin Suddeth and I'm the branch manager for the Title I Part A Support and Improvement Branch at the Kentucky Department of Education. This video includes instruction on checking for errors and submitting your application in GMAP. Once again, I've logged into our GMAP test site as a test district for the demonstration. After logging in, I navigated to the sections page of the current consolidated application, which is covered in the general overview and tips video in the GMAP training video series. Once you've completed your application, it's important to check for warnings and errors prior to submitting. Potential issues with the application can be found on the sections page in the validation column. Within the validation column, you can click on messages to view the notifications from GMAP. Messages can be viewed for individual pages or for the Title I Part A application as a whole, depending on which messages link is clicked. So I'll click on the one next to Title I Part A application to view all the messages at once. Warning messages do not have to be addressed, but red error messages do. A warning message may be something like, the amount remaining on the PPA page is not $0. Consider modifying the district set-asides to account for the difference. As discussed in the PPA list page video, it is acceptable to have a few dollars or cents remaining on the page, or you can adjust your district set-aside amounts accordingly to zero out that remaining balance. An error message would be something like questions marked with an asterisk require a response or the enrollment for ABC Elementary School has not been entered. Once all errors have been addressed, the application is ready for submission. Individuals assigned to the role of District Consolidated Director within GMAP have the ability to submit the application. And this may or may not be the Title I coordinator. The District Consolidated Director must confirm that all sections of the application, not just the Title I Part A application, have been completed prior to changing the application status and beginning the approval workflow. When the application is ready to be submitted, the District Consolidated Director will click on the Change Status to Draft Completed link at the top of the Sections page. If you're working on an application revision as opposed to the original application, it will say revision completed rather than draft completed. The status change confirmation screen will either allow you to confirm the submission of the application or as it's done in this demonstration, it will notify you of existing errors on the application which must be addressed in order to submit. Once the application status has been changed to draft or revision completed, the workflow process begins. The application moves to the district finance officer for review. The finance officer reviews the application and either approves it or sends it back for revision. Approved applications move to the superintendent who again either approves it or sends it back for revision. Applications with superintendent approval are then reviewed by KDE consultants. Applications are reviewed in the order in which they are received. Reviewing applications from multiple districts is one of many duties that our KDE consultants have, and we appreciate your patience during the review process. Remember, your KDE consultants will provide feedback, feedback on any required corrections to your application on the consolidated checklist. The consolidated checklist was covered in the general overview and tips video. The last feature I'll share with you is how to print a copy of your application or save it as a PDF. GMAP will always save the most current version of your application, but you may want to save a copy of the original application or previous revisions if you find that helpful. You can use the print link on the sections page to generate a downloadable PDF of your application. You can select the entire application, an individual page, or use the check boxes to pick and choose specific pages to print. Once you've made your selection, you'll click the print link. On the print request page, you have the option to rename the file, which can be useful if you plan on printing multiple things. And your email address will populate automatically in case the print request takes longer than usual, and then GMAP will email you when it's ready. 
Print requests are stored on the KDE Resources page, which can be accessed through the main navigation menu on the left side of the screen. Click on the link to your print request and it will open in a new tab from which you can either print or save. Print requests will remain in the KDE Resources page for seven days. And you also have the option to manually delete them here. This concludes the GMAP training video series. Thank you for watching and remember that any additional questions related to the Title I Part A application in GMAP should be addressed to your district's Title I consultant.